All right, I want to demonstrate why problems such as this, 6 minus negative 2, would result in 6 plus 2 equaling 8. Now, you've probably been told that whenever you see a minus followed by a negative, you have to make those signs positive. Subtracting a negative is the same thing as adding that number. Well, what I want to do is provide an example that kind of illustrates why that is. All right, so let us take any number minus itself. For example, let's take 5 minus 5. We know that is equal to 0. Or let's take 9 minus 9. We know that is equal to 0, of course. Let's take something like negative 9 minus negative 9. All right, now this is also something minus itself because we can see we have the term negative 9 here and the term negative 9 here, and they are being subtracted. So this is something minus itself. Now, we should remember that anything take away itself is equal to 0. And if this first term is negative 9, to make 0, we have to combine it with its additive inverse, the opposite of negative 9, which is positive 9. So everything after this negative 9 must be equal to positive 9. Therefore, all of this can be rewritten as plus 9, which would make this a true statement. So remember, when dealing with integers, whenever you subtract any negative value, you have to take those signs and turn them positive. 